Hello everybody, it's the Irish Gamer Kane here, and today we'll be talking about Dead Space 2, or more specifically, the multiplayer map, Fuel Core. Now, this map is absolutely crazy with all kinds of objectives, and uh, yeah, it's just madness, and I'm gonna try my best to explain it all to you, and um, show it to you, and give you some strategies on how to survive, but to be honest, you're gonna die a lot, and it, yeah, it's gonna be crazy, unless dude, the people you're playing against have no idea what they're doing. So, uh, we'll just get started. Now, I'm going to go through the nine objectives of this map while you watch me do an amazing job of surviving for a short period of time in this first part. Uh, the first thing you have to access is a computer terminal. And once you've completed that, you pick up an item, as you saw me do. Then you have to take this item and drop it off at a designated point not too far away. Once you do, that activates some kind of uh, failsafe or something. I, I really don't even know. Uh, but you gotta protect it for 30 seconds while the necromorphs try to destroy it. Now, after he's done protecting this thing, then you gotta run to another computer. Access that computer, it opens up a locked door. Run to another computer, access this computer, and that opens up a, a bay where some disks are stored. You get the disks, you take that, you drop that off at another door, unlock that door by accessing another computer, then you go down to where the fuel core is, you access the one final computer, and then you have to defend it for a minute. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a long list of stuff. But, it's all really close together, it's kind of a small map, and some areas you can't even access without actually completing other objectives. So, it's really hard to get lost, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it doesn't really need that much of a walkthrough. You don't need me to show you how to get through all this, because it's pretty, you know... Self-explanatory, pretty much, is what I'm saying. I mean, the objectives are marked on your map, and like I said, the map is so small, you're not going to get lost, so don't worry about that. Uh, just worry about sticking together, because they're, like I said, it's a small map, and there are more necromorph spawn points everywhere, and it's just, it's craziness. It's absolute craziness, and if they destroy this thing right here in the 30 seconds that they have before it activates, you got to go get another one, and it's not a long distance, really, but... Uh, you know, it's, it can be hard, as you saw me coming down that first hallway. Especially if you, you know, your guys get taken out. Now let's talk about some weapons. The line gun's pretty good to use here. The secondary fire, more so than the primary fire. Uh, the mine is pretty good when you're backtracking in certain parts of this map, like this part right here. Uh, the, back, the guy in the back of the group can drop a few of those. And uh, it'll kind of either keep the necromorphs at bay or they'll kind of just charge ahead blindly and, you know, get blown up. Because the, the, when it blows, it's pretty devastating. It'll kill pretty much anything. Um, I think the only thing I haven't seen die from one going off is a spitter. And spitters are pretty tough. So I'm not that surprised. The seeker rifle is okay to use, but you're not going to find a lot of use of the zoom in. Here, like I said, it's a small map. A lot of these rooms are kind of small. Um, only places like here right now would have been useful to use the zoom. But other than that, it's it's okay. You know, the small clip size makes it a little hazardous. Plasma cutter you can never go wrong with. You know, it's a well-rounded weapon, so can't say anything bad about that. The force gun and javelin gun, on the other hand, big no-nos. Force gun, you're gonna, just going to end up hitting your friends way too much make it even worth using and the javelin gun is very dangerous you're gonna kill your teammates and you're gonna kill yourself more than you're gonna kill the bad guys and you do not want to kill yourself because that's minus 300 points and that's three kills you got to make up so you know don't use them do yourself a favor and your teammates a favor just don't use them use the other three on just on at least this map because there's just too much to do and you can't afford those kinds of uh, distractions now we're coming up on the end of the map here. Uh, you just gotta access this computer and then protect the fuel core for a minute. And then that's it. You've won. Now you don't have to protect the whole thing, just this box that's sitting right next to the computer. It glows so it's kind of hard to miss. So you know what to protect, so don't think you have to protect the whole thing. Alright, that about does it for this video. Uh, the bomb's gonna blow up here in 30 seconds. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it informative, and I look forward to making more for you guys in the future. Look for my other videos on Blip TV and YouTube, as well as Battlestrats.com. 
enjoy the map guys and <laughs> sit down and strap in because it's gonna be one bumpy ride with blood bile and bullets flying everywhere it's gonna be a madhouse enjoy you know, to hell with the benefits I'm out of this nightmarish place I just gotta access this computer and oh oh that's oh that, you know what I'm sick of these little baby things I can take care of you no problem here we go that's food Ha! Now I just finished what I was doing. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, your big brothers are showing up. Oh, this is not good. Avenge me! Oh, why do you keep biting me in the armpit? Is that really necessary?